Safia was a pious and poor young woman. She was 30 years old when she married a rich man and had three children. In the 10 years of their marriage, they reminded at odds with each other. Her husband did not offer daily prayer nor did he treat his wife well. He also wasn't happy with the fact that Safia gave their children religious education. She always advised him to offer prayer and realize his responsibilities and be patient with his bad manners so that he may repent to God. But she was shocked when he divorced her at the age of 40. He deprives her of her children, claiming that she will not be able to raise them due to her poverty. Safiya became dejected, but she turned towards Allah. She always offered prayers and asked Allah to enable her to perform the holy pilgrimage to Mecca. She always asked just one thing in her prayers, in her loneliness and among her family. Her family was always surprised by her prayer, but she always replied that nothing was impossible for Allah. A day after Safiya's period of abstentation ended, she met one of her friends. Her friend had a photo of a man from Holy Medina. She told her, this is a very pious man who is 60 years old and he is very rich. My husband works as his driver in Saudi Arabia. His wife has passed away and he wants to meet someone else. Safiya rejected the proposal right away. Her friend asked, did you not want to perform the holy pilgrimage? Let this be a way of making that happen. Safiya agreed with her friend's suggestion. The old man arrived and the marriage took place. The husband told her, I am tired and I have pain in my chest. So I'll leave tomorrow and I will register the marriage in my country and I'll get a visa for your entry within a week. You will be there with me, God willing. Then the husband went away and sent a visa for Safiya. She too travelled to her husband. When she arrived at the home, the old man's children and grandchildren were waiting to receive her, but the old man was not there. When she inquired about him, she was told that he had passed away. The children said he has passed away three days after he arrived here. The religious scholars have told us that the marriage is complete according to Sharia and it was better if our mother spent her abstention period here at our home. You are also entitled to your complete share in the inheritance. Safiya could not believe what she was hearing and seeing but she stayed there to complete her abstention period. Her new children treated her well. By the time Safiya's abstention period was finished, the pilgrimage season was about to enter. Safiya asked her eldest son to accompany her to pilgrimage. He agreed and went with her to perform the pilgrimage. After the pilgrimage, her sons asked her if she wanted to stay with them or return to her country. She told them that she wanted to return to her country, so they gave her all the remaining dower and she returned to her country. She was happy that she had finally performed the pilgrimage. This is what she had been asking Allah to give her. Allah says in his book, Those who do good shall get good in return and even better. When she returned, she was shocked to learn that the father of her children had returned to the right path and he offered her to marry him again and take care of his children. He also transferred the ownership of the house in her name. After much deliberations and seeking Allah's guidance, Safiya agreed to it. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ